this is what we do. It's ever so simple. We say, right, what are your current challenges right. with, with what you're using at the moment, whether it's Sage or QuickBooks or spreadsheets? Right. Um, what would you love to be able to, to do? And then we just ask questions about some of the, the key triggers, like, uh, you know, bank reconciliation at the moment. How do you do them at the moment? Is it, is it manual? How long does it take? So we're just prodding, looking for areas of pain, and we know it's going to be a pain in the neck for them. We, we particularly those businesses that have recurring invoices, and we watch them labour over creating the same invoice for the same company, for the same amount of money, for just a different date on every month, and sending them out via post. A, a complete waste of time. And I find that if you go through the bookkeeper, it doesn't really work. Um, because they're normally, without treading on anyone's toes, they're normally towards the latter part of their careers and so on and they've been doing sage for 20 years and they don't want to change they're doing what they they know how to do which is you know, fair enough for them um you have to go and show it to whoever's the decision maker at the top i'm perhaps a bit more aggressive with it now because yeah. we really do understand it very well and he said spreadsheet i've got spreadsheets i said what's going on you know come on in with a laugh you know life has moved on mm -hmm. so what does your accountant do and his accountant ex-accountant now did, oh yeah, take all the stuff and have to do all the banks. They do a bank posting for a year, cost him three grand, right? So do you want a solution that's cheaper? They give you proper information. I can do, uh, we've got a fixed price list. You've got, mm -hmm. there's the price, box A, box B, and I'll show you zero. Mm -hmm. And it's not an option because it's, I'll give you a half price solution. And the time you mess about with spreadsheets, you'll get the answer. Yeah. The one we've taken on we, we, was, was three years behind, yeah. and we had to redo the whole job from start to finish, and I said, well, there's no option, you know, there's no option here. You're on zero, full stop. And, yeah. and we put the whole thing through zero. I mean, and, I used uh, to do this. And then hand it back on a plate to him, which we won't, because I won't let him, because he's screwed it up for three years. So yeah. Again, it's imposed solution from us to say, well, you know, fine, if you'd offer to do it, Take it somewhere else. I was talking with someone who's not quite a client yet. They're a client from a zero point of view. They've asked us to help them with it. Sat down with him and he said, right, okay, I just want, I want to understand my business. Much like you were saying. <coughs> Sit down with him and there we are sitting on his, on his Mac, looking at the KPIs and so on yep. that it wonderfully produces for him. And, uh, and he just looked at his debtors days and said, 90 days? can't be right. I said, well, have you got all of your, all the information's on there, isn't it? Your bookkeeper's up to date with all the sales invoices and so on, okay. He said, well, we're a cash rich business. We've never thought about it before. Yeah. But 90 days is not right. He said, well, so, so for him, it was just a point of which, you know, he's never had that before. And so then he's saying to us, well, why don't you come in? Because I need help with this kind of stuff. So you're being invited into the company rather yeah. than forcing your way into a company, which is what we've had to do in the past. Yeah. We had to force someone to say, phone them up and say, right, look, I want to talk to you about your business. And it was quite a hard battle. Mm. But as soon as you show them something like that, they're asking us to go into the business and help them out. And we embraced Zero three years ago, probably, and it changed the business model. It was the right model to change onto because now we do everything on a fixed price menu yeah. because I know that things inside are so much easier. Uh, and therefore, it really did change the whole business model completely. It's, I know it's a two grand a word, but it is kind of like an ethos. It's, a, it's like a philosophy almost. It's that whole thing about creating a partnership with someone. It is a partnership because Chris cares about our business, interested in our business. and. Um, when we have grown up questions like we're moving offices, we need a solicitor, <laughs> um, you know, the first person we go to is Chris. And so, yes, without being, um, uh, without exaggerating, it's definitely a partnership. And now I wouldn't have had that with my bookkeeper, and I wouldn't have had it in uh, an accountant who was running software that I didn't understand. Uh, the other thing I'd add to this is that uh, we do a regular, which you didn't do before, a regular board meeting with. Three other, uh, uh, not being unfair to them, they were non-financial yeah. creative guys. Mm -hmm. Had no idea at all. And we've spent quite a long time uh, at our board meetings at the beginning. Uh, I spent quite a long time trying to explain the accounts in English. And then if there's odd bits I would like to draw their attention to, like, you know, you've surpassed your last year's sales at month nine, all that sort of stuff, which you do now. Yeah. Uh, and the tax bill could be X, Y, Z. We could do this better, that better. One of many clients that we've done this with, and it's been a huge, huge.
plus to the client. Yeah. And it's good for us because, you know, it's a nice, big, nice to hear that, David. And um, you know, if, I don't he, tell if, everyone he, about if it. he tells everybody about it, I've got a, a PR machine running.